Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. When we last left off, we were here kidnapped and forced into sex slavery on this rusty old bucket of bolts here. Well, maybe not sex slavery, but as far as like we can tell, it could be anything that they're saying to us. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what did he just offer me here? Oh, did no, I don't want to do this. I didn't even know what he was going to be telling me. Can I skip? And now I can't get out of this. This is my punishment. This is my punishment. I'll see you in a. I'll see you in 15 minutes, guys. When this is over. Finally! Oh my god! I can't believe I did that. That's what I get for just saying yes when I don't even know what they're saying. It's like yes. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. We have one sphere level with Tidus, and this is basically. I should have like demonstrated this in the last video. Basically, we can move one. And because, like, even though we're not on this, um, even though we're not on this node for cheer, because it's adjacent to us, we can actually use one of these ability spheres to go ahead and learn it. And basically, cheer is pretty good. It'll, it'll basically, um, my god, what am I doing here? It's basically like a, a buff for your party is what it is, so, oh my god, yes, I do want to return to the menu. Get, get me out of here, I've seen enough of the sphere grid. So yeah, let's go talk ahead and talk to the mystery us. woman. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm -hmm. Titus's big score, that's okay, what it's gonna be. Let's get to work. Roger. <laughs> what about um your little like hand signal? It's like this one, when I do this, it means it's for you. <laughs> So yeah, here we are in the water. Water actually plays like, like a quite a big role in this game. Like you'll see water time and again here, um, and it like starts as a kind of a wet and watery game and continues to be a wet and watery game like the whole time. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going here. And yet, this is what I mean. Like when you get like a random encounter, basically the screen will just crack like that. Um, oh no, I'm, I'm using the mystery woman. So basically with these guys, what I like to do is just steal because you can steal grenades off of them. Which are extremely useful. Um, and it's just like, a, it, it makes life a lot easier if you can just like pick up like a stock of them. Um, early on in the game here. Especially against these easy enemies when, when, when you're basically going to be able to pick them off in one shot, in one shot with Titus anyway. You might as well use our, our mystery companion. It's getting like so like, um, it's getting like so confusing to keep referring to her as that. I guess I've got to follow this arrow here. Maybe if I tried actually looking at the map for once. Here I am going like, I don't know what to do. Who took my false teeth? So yeah, you might as well just steal with her to, to get the, um, you might as well just steal with her to be able to get the grenades early on in the game. Basically, we're just going to follow this thing, this metal structure here. Um, but yeah, as I say, like, water like plays quite a big role in this game in, gen in general. Not that you'll be swimming all the time, it's just that time and again, the fact that, like, Blitzball takes place in water, and the fact that, like, um, a lot of our, like, as you saw at the beginning, like, our main enemy took the form of, like, a big huge like tsunami I think that like it makes it obvious enough that that washer plays like a similar sort of role in this game to I guess the desert in Final Fantasy 12 because you in like Final Fantasy 12 Vaughn and Pinello are children of the desert I guess to a certain extent don't get worried though we're not going to have to go through hours of just being in the being in the sand, in the, right, in, uh, being in the water in this game, like you just have hours of being in the, like you just have hours of being in the desert in that game. Not that I ever really minded it, to be honest. I think the only point where like that got like a little bit tiresome was in the sand sea, just because so much of it looked the same. Like a lot of the other desert areas, I loved them, but just like the Ogoryensa sand sea was just like, oh my god, get me out of here. So here we are inside in the ruins, and now you get to see, like, Hulk smash, Hulk bash. Because, I mean, we're a modern boy, we know how to use a computer. 
Titus is like, where's the Instagram on this thing? <laughs> it's like, is that going to be a running gag of the, of the, of the, of the LP is Titus's social media usage? Can I get around this stupid thing here? Yeah, basically, like, the, if, as long as you press the circle button, he'll keep descending. And if you, like, let off on the circle button, he'll, like, s ascend, like, automatically again. Okay, who's the jerk? Got more of these fishy-wishy dishies. It's like, I remember that TV show Martin's Mad About Fish, about the fish chef. And, like, um, about the fish chef. And, like, the, the song used to go, like... Something like, like, what was it? It was something like, The salmon of knowledge below in the college, the cod on the rock, the fish on the dish, the fish you're mad about, Martin, and Martin's mad about fish. Like, that's the way it used to go. It's like, how ridiculous is that? The fish are mad about Martin, and Martin's mad about fish. I think it was just, like, the, the, the tune of it as well. Like, the tune just sounded like someone falling down the stairs. It was just like... Oh, I already stole from them. Nice good, nice shooting text. Might as well attack them to finish them all. It's just like... <laughs> and then just ends with... The fish are mad about Martin, and Martin's mad about fish. <laughs> like, have we got another computer we've got to use here? Yeah, it's down here, but I can't see it, game. It's like somewhere up here. Oh, there. Where's the grinder on this thing? <laughs> it's like I just have to think of like a new app every single time. It's like I can just imagine the credits for this for every episode of this being like the credits for Yuri on Ice, where it just shows like Titus, at Titus's Instagram feed is what it's gonna be. And you have Fitchet taking like cute little or Pitchet or whatever taking like cute photographs, embarrassing snapshots of Titus at the Christmas party. Do you know what? I might as well, I might as well go ahead and use a potion now, seeing as I got the three of them. I got three of them from that guy on the boat. Yeah, if you talk to the guy on the, not don't talk to the guy that shows you how to use the sphere grid again. But if you talk to the guy, who um, who I showed you there, then he'll give you three potions, which is quite useful. Um, so yeah, with this guy, you can steal grenades from him as well, which is also useful. Um, and oh, he's just gonna miss. That's handy. And what you can also do, I suppose I could show off the cheer command here as well. What I want to do is I'm just going to see I have 10 grenades now because I've been stealing them from those fish the whole time. And because of that, like, that's going to make this extremely easy, basically. So now if you deal a certain amount of damage to this guy, he's going to go around here and we're just pretty much going to have to sit pretty here. Um, trigger commands, yeah, okay. So basically, now we can stand. If we do stand by, it means we just wait and recover HP. But there's not really like much reason to do that. What I almost prefer to do is just show off cheer. Even though I don't re like, I'm only really sh showing you that to show it off because it doesn't really have like much much reason for doing that. Um, what's actually probably more useful would just be to defend here. Because he's going to do this Nautilus charge, which will do heavy, which will do massive damage. But because we defended it, didn't really do all that much. Um, so yeah, now basically what I'm going to do is just continue using the, the grenades. That's all you basically have to do. This is like pretty much like the first battle that, that you, you end up having some, some degree of strategy. I'm not going to bother using that this time. That you actually end up using some degree of strategy on him. Like, how much damage have we dealt to him now? About, like, 700, about, like, 800 or something like that. So now when he goes around this time, and we still only have standby as an option here. We might as well do that once. Like, with both of them. But I actually think it's probably... Oh, now we can use pincer attack. That's what I was waiting for. So after a certain amount of time, you get access to pincer attack with Titus. Where you basically, it's like, you go that way, I go this way. And we'll both meet in the middle. 
and that'll stop him being able to use that Nautilus charge thing. So basically now he's a sitting duck. He's just gonna miss anyway. It's like, geez, could it be any easier? I'm gonna use another grenade here just for just for old time's sake. So how much damage is that now? Like about 1200. What I'd like to do is maybe get an overkill on this guy if I could. So that's maybe about like 1300. I'm trying to get like I'm trying to be conservative here. That's probably like 1300 damage. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to. Can I do that? But wait a second, I can't even do that anyway. Oh wait, no, I can. I'm like looking at the wrong person, am I? Now I can. Look, see, I can use Spiral Cut, but that's not gonna overdrive. That's gonna not. That's not gonna kill him. Like I don't think that's gonna do enough damage to kill him for 29. Like I'm pretty sure he still has some in him because he's got like 2,000 something HP. It's like, geez, what have you got to be scared of though? I'll just use like one more grenade. That should take him out. It's like if you do like get her. If you do get like her overdrive up, like her over like her overdrive, you can probably tell by the fact that she has the use command. Her overdrive is the mix command, just like a chemist kind of sort of thing. Um and like basically what you could do is mix two grenades with each other and make like a big one big attack that'll overdrive him because it'll do so much damage. But that's something like I haven't really begun to explain even, like the whole overdrive thing. That's going to be like when when it gets to like later in the game when you're actually doing random battles on the regular like you're going to get to the point where you're going to want to try and overdrive kill like it's pretty much like over overkill that's what it is not overdrive overdrive is what you get like when you have your when you get your um your limit break basically is what i'm saying but overkill what you want to do is is overkill as many enemies as possible because that will automatically give you more ap for them so and AP obviously is like ability points, like that that's what it is in this game. It's like you get ability points making it possible for you to go around the sphere grid. Just like in Final Fantasy XII, you get the ability points um that enable you to go around like the the other thing, like the whatever it's called in that game. You guys know what I'm talking about. The um What is it even called again? I don't remember. Supposed to be going down here, apparently. There's like, there's more of our like buddies from the ship here, had just hanging around in the water. Like this is Noki Bay or something. It's like when you go back to um, it's like when you back go back to Noki Bay after you stop the pollution and like the the red coin fish and all of the Noki are just hanging around down there under the water. That's what it's like. But yeah, the difference here, like, between the ability points here and the ability points in Final Fantasy XII is Final Fantasy XII, Final Fantasy XII has, like, levels and ability points. Whereas this game only has the ability points. Like, all of your development is going... Like, every single bit of your development is going to come from the sphere grid, basically. So, like, like ability points are the only thing you really care about. So now that we've got the power switched on, we're able to see what we're doing down here. So I guess we're after we're after paying our way on the on the boat here to make ourselves useful. They're not just gonna throw us overboard or eat us or something, who knows? And I'm glad I remembered that clan primer as well, or that clan primer, Albed primer. I'm gonna have to stop talking about other Final Fantasy games because I'm just gonna start mixing up all the terminology. <laughs> Apparently it's an airship down there. <laughs> it's like shaking off like a dog. When you see those letters that are in, in red. Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? Yeah, you couldn't have done without me. When you see those letters that are in red, that means those are the letters that are like um that are translated. So now because we got that one Albed primer. It means, um, uh, hungry. you're always hungry. It's like, I need food. <laughs> now that we got that one Albed uh, primer, now we're able to uh, translate uh, the letter A. Jeez, good morning to you too. Whoa, 
right on. Oh, he's so appreciative. Watch, you're not going to take a snapshot of that for Instagram. So that we can put it in the credits of Yuri on ice, or Titus on ice, or Titus on water. Titus is more like free the swimming anime rather than Yuri on ice. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat too fast, it goes down the wrong hole. It's cause you eat too fast. Yeah, see? She's a sensible girl. She's actually one of my favorite characters in any Final Fantasy game ever. I love her. Just like get that out of the way right now. Hey. Well, I guess I should be thankful. Hello there. What is your name? Finally, you ask her. Riku. Yay! Now I can call her. Now I can call you by your name, or call you by call me by your name, or some shit. <laughs> Jeez. I think he's finally gone crazy. Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? You didn't ask. Didn't get a chance to. Yeah. Everyone thought we were a fiend. We? Uh, we? <laughs> oh, we mean So it's like you. a funny play on words. But it's kind of forced at the same time. It's like, you know, like, that the scripting people were like, okay, we've got to make this work somehow. We're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an Albed hater, are you? No, I'm an Albed wesher, is what I am. Is. There you are, those buns are stuffed are deep from? down those jeans she's wearing. I'm a blitzball player. <clears throat> Star player of the Xanarkin Abes. <laughs> did you hit your head or something? What do you mean, did I hit my head or something? I'm um, at Titus hit? Thirst Trap on Twitter or something. Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? No, me no remember. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> I don't know. So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. Nice one, Magnum P.I. About life there. Blitzball and Sin's attack, and about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind, but then I started to wonder. She's actually Did just I say something funny. She's just so cool. I love her. Like she's so intelligent. You were near Sin. Like, and she comes across as, like, all... Don't worry. You'll be better in no time. As that they kind of, like... Gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? She comes across as that kind of, like, archetypal, ditzy kind of character. But that's such, like, just, like, like a front. She's actually just you so kind I'm of sick? smart and heartfelt. I think she's yeah. just... She's just great all around. You sure? Yeah. There is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So, no one plays Blitzball there. <laughs> what? Xanarkin was destroyed a thousand years ago? Wh wh what do you mean, a thousand years ago? Welcome to Final Fantasy X, Breath of the I Wild Edition. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! I'm gonna have to cut that out, actually, now that I think about it, what I just said there. It's like, it's so hard, like, trying to avoid spoilering in this. You said... I you said, I don't know. You said... <laughs> uh huh. No, I said I played Blurns Ball. You know, you should go to Luca. Luca? Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Uh, That's what she said. Huh. <laughs> She's like, how, well, how do I deal with this boy? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. Like, she totally doesn't have to. You'd rather stay here? Like, that's one of the things I love about her. She just... Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. She's just like, we've got to help this guy. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, and I certainly oh, wouldn't want to uh -huh. do that. <laughs> Trust me, we're going to upset a lot of people in this game. We might as well start now. <laughs> We really are going to upset a lot of people. It's like that Uncle Buck hat that angers a lot of people. Another like 25 minute long Isaac video. And some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yeah, Xanarkand looked more like a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Kevin? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place. That I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? Now we're no in a future way. where. where Orin has the almanac and has taken over the world. <laughs> it's like, geez, what's happening now? Who's the jerk? Oh my god, that just reminds me, I have to- Shin Godzilla is on tonight and I have to tape it. <laughs> Sorry, like, that just, like, s s popped into my mind. I read it in the newspaper yesterday. Shin Godzilla is going to be on tonight. <laughs> yeah, just, like, Sin. Sin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla is going to be on tonight and I've got to, like, tape it. So that I can watch it. It's the goddamn kaiju! That's what it is. It's like the goddamn koi poo. It's like just when we thought we had a plan of action, you just have to turn up. It's like every time we just take one step forward, you force us back two steps all over again. Yeah, I'll save the current game. And then I guess we'll continue in the next video. I'm really sorry about these, like, 24-minute videos or 25-minute videos. But, like, as I say, I just kind of don't want to sacrifice the story of the game just to make the videos shorter. But you guys can let me know in the comments how you feel, whether you don't mind the 25-minute videos. As long as, like, the story makes sense or as long as it makes sense narratively. Or whether you prefer just, like, shorter videos overall. So, thanks a million for watching this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I'm going to save and see you next time and see what fresh hell awaits us in the next part of the game. So, see you next time. Bye now.